Hey there, Meredith here from artsandclassy.com. I'm so excited to be joining you today because I have a fun video for you. It's actually one I've been getting a lot of requests for and it's kind of what my specialty is with regards to renter decorating, basically decorating on a budget overall. Well, I'm here to show you five different ways to decorate your home for very, very low cost, find things that are unique, finding and using things that you already have in your house. I just love the creative opportunity to explore how to make a, a unique piece for my home. Today's sponsor is Globe In. Globe In is a monthly subscription box full of fair trade goods sourced from around the world. Each artisan box is curated for with a different theme that you get to pick from. And there are four to five boxes you get to choose from each month. What I love is that every purchase supports local artisans around the world. Globe In is a verified member of the Fair Trade Federation, which means they pay their artisans a living wage, which covers all their basic needs. They were so kind as to send me a box of my own. So I thought I would share with you the items that are in this tea party box, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna use them to decorate my home. Each box comes with a pamphlet that kind of explains where the items that you're getting are coming from and kind of what their backstory is. Oh my goodness. This is really pretty. So this is the first item. This is really like sturdy. I'm actually really shocked at how pretty, like how pretty this is. I feel like it's really like beautifully crafted. The handle feels really sturdy and I'm excited to incorporate this in my home. Um, I also got a bag of Tulsi tea and this is one that's actually from India. It's so pretty. And with a beautiful lantern. And a couple more things in here. Um, this came from Nepal. It's a felt uh, pom pom garland. And then I also got a couple of tea lights that are made of beeswax. We got our tea lights, so one of them can go in the lantern. All right, I don't know about you, but I am very excited to incorporate these in my decor around my house. Okay, so the first area that we're gonna be decorating is my kitchen island. This is honestly more of a blank space. My husband and I definitely use it when we have dinner or breakfast. Other than that, it just ends up kind of being a dumping ground and I never really know what to do with it. So I have an idea using my globe in picture as well as my lantern with my tea light to this or tray. So I got this at a thrift store and I decided that it would make a really great platform to prop up my vase and my tea light. So we're going to give this thing a little bit of a makeover and then we're gonna see how it all looks staged together. The supplies I'm using for this project, the little sanding block, a fun little foam brush, painter's tape, and some craft paint in the color Snow White. All right, now that we have removed the painter's tape from my tray, I'm going to be putting together my centerpiece. 
This is just gonna lay flat uh, in the center of my kitchen island. Then I'm going to be adding my beautiful tea party pitcher, as well as my beautiful tea light candle holder. And we're gonna add a little bit more to this and we're gonna call it complete. an area that I will be decorating with items I found at a thrift store. Stuff I have in my own home is my entryway space. I do have this very interesting corner shelf. Um, it's a very interesting layout, uh, but this also sometimes tends to be more of a dumping ground. My wedding anniversary is coming up and we still have yet to get our pictures printed. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to work on a project that will showcase my wedding pictures, four of my favorite wedding pictures, as well as some fun decor on the shelf. I found two sets of matching frames from a thrift store. So I have two of these, and then I also have two of these. hardware to hang them has been reattached and now I'm going to be creating a fun little collage on this little triangular wall where my little entryway table is and then we're going to stage it and that's what we will get into that after.
now we're going to tackle these two bookshelves. They're in my living room space, but you could do this as well for any bookshelves that you have in your home. One thing that I love doing most is going around my house, gathering any sort of tchotchkes, picture frames, vintage items, letters, you know, letter decor. And I, and I love bringing them into one area to display them, but in a cohesive and also organized way. Make sure you, step one, gather your items. Step two, lay them all out on a workspace or on the floor, and then slowly but surely you're gonna add them to your shelf space. So let's get to cleaning these bookshelves first, and then we are going to move on to adding these pieces back to the bookshelf. Now the next space we're going to be decorating is my bedroom slash home office. That's where my desk hangs out, uh, as well as my monitor and my laptop. And I feel like this space needs a little more personality to it. And I wanna show you how easy it is to use fresh cut flowers, a fake plant or a real plant, and uh, also any other miscellaneous decor you have around your home to add a little bit of some personality and warmth to a home office space, and then we'll move on to the rest of my bedroom. I'm going to be adding my A ampersand C to this part to the left of my desk. A friend of mine, blogger friend, shout out Flavia, thank you for these. I still love and use them all the time. They've been hanging out in my window and I kind of didn't really know what to do with them. I didn't really know where to put them, but I've decided that I'm going to hang them right here and then uh, move on to adding a little more nature to this space. So we're gonna start first with figuring out how high I want the A to be on the vertical. I did grab some uh, a hammer and some nails. However, if you are unable, if you're renting specifically and your landlord has told you no holes in the walls, then you can use command strips. I do use command strips for a lot of projects in my home, however, Spackling a few holes before we move out is not that big of a deal, especially since we plan on living here for one more year. Now, I did have something hanging here before. Uh, it was a dream catcher uh, that one, one of my friends made for me. Um, so that's kind of the first letter, and I'm actually okay with the level of that. So I think we're just gonna work on positioning the ampersand and the C below that. So I'm going to kind of, I'm a big fan of eyeballing it hasn't, it hasn't negatively impacted me so far. My A and C has been hung. Now let's add some nature to this space. One thing I am gonna be doing is using one of my beeswax candles that I got from Globe Inn putting it in one of my little candle holders. It's a crystal, uh, clear crystal quartz a candle holder. So that's gonna be going on my desk too to add a nice little ambience to my workspace. Now we're on the final tip for decorating your home on a budget. 
so you may notice I have this collage wall behind me. Well, I'm happy to say that I spent less than $30 on everything you see here. I shopped all of this art from a thrift store and I've added some of my own artistic spin on all of these pieces to give them a cohesive and a more modern look to them. So if you'll notice, I have a beautiful water lily that I got. It was a picture and I actually painted over the water lily itself to add the color scheme of my room, which is a lot of blues and greens, a little pop of gold here and there, but it's a lot of serene, calm colors, which typically fall into this color palette. That leads me to this guy. I added a fun stencil overlay to it in the same colors. This was a piece I didn't do anything to it because it already encompassed all of the colors that I was looking for. Then I also found a magnolia. And this guy, I added a fun diagonal with painter's tape and uh, added a pop of gold to it as well. Just paint over the frame. It's a trend that I have seen a lot. This is uh, a great place to find different decorative plates and things like that would also be the thrift store. And then this is a piece that I found that I added a fun creative spin to it. I made my own stickers that say wander and I painted the whole bottom portion, including the frame, a fun white color. This is uh, the, the area that we're basically gonna start with. I'm gonna add my pom-pom garland to this collage. I have my pom-pom garland from Globe In. Well, I'm gonna kind of do, kind of mock it up to see if it's uh, how I want it to fall and how I want it to lay. I'm going to be using some nails to tack this. And there you have it. The beautiful pom-pom garland has been added to my artwork just to give it a little more fun, a little more pop of color, and I think it looks really cute in my bedroom space. I want to thank Globe In for sponsoring this video, and I wanted to make sure that my audience, you guys, get a discount to try Globe In yourself. Make sure you check out the description box below. You get 50% off your first box with a three-month subscription. So try it out for a few months, see how you like it. I guarantee you're gonna love the products that you're getting out of it. Uh, I'm so excited to be displaying those items from my tea party box around my home now. I think it's adding a lot more fun color and also just unique flair to the budget decorating tips I've already shared with you. So make sure to hit that thumbs up button if you liked this video. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would love to hear what you guys have to say in the comments below, so make sure you share with me what you thought of all these projects. Which one was your favorite? Share with me below and I will see you guys next time. Bye.